Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you the four things that I would do personally if I had to start paying for rent and I was going to move my training business aside, I would make sure these things are done before I give any facility owner any of my money. Pay attention to these four things. They're going to really help you out. They're on my notepad. The first one is all about profit margin. What I want you to think about is ask yourself this question. Is everything that I do in my business group training or one-on-one -on -one training? If you're doing everything one-on-one, -on -one, it's really difficult to make rent work because you have so many one-on-one -on -one hours that you're training and every single hour that you have to rent from someone means you're having to pay them more money. What we do is we transition everything into group training or we have another trainer who can run another one-on-one -on -one session with you at the same time so you're maximizing that time i'll go into more details on that later in this video but profit margin is really huge because a lot of coaches never get to a point where they can afford rent because it doesn't make sense for them if they're spending 50 dollars per hour on rent and they're charging 70 dollars for a one-on-one -on -one session they're making 20 bucks doesn't make sense to do that and it doesn't make sense to run multiple multiple sessions per day because like you're barely going to make any money doing it that way now, if you have things set up in groups, it's very different because you're able to make way more money per hour than you would if you're doing one-on-one. -on -one. The right business model is really key when you decide to rent. That's number one. Number two, this is a, like a really, really important one. All the coaches that I work with, for the most part, are doing what I'm about to show you, which is, can I run one clinic per month and use that revenue to pay for all of the rent? I'm just gonna use this example. Let's say you spend $1,000 per month on rent. And it could be more, it could be less, but I'm just using this number to be simple here. Spend a thousand dollars per month on rent. If I just run one clinic and get 20 athletes, the parents pay 50 bucks each, really doable to do that. It's really affordable for a lot of people. I have that thousand dollars now, and I'm just going to flip that back and pay for rent. This way I have zero risk running my business because I know I'm going to run a clinic once per month and I'm going to use that revenue to pay out my rent. Everything is free. Like all of my rent is free beyond that because I already have the money to allocate for rent. And it's a simple concept because a lot of coaches are afraid to go spend money on rent because they don't know how much money they're going to make. When you can schedule out clinics and you promote those hard, getting 20 people to pay you $50 is very easy to do if you're good at marketing, right? Pretty easy. We want you to run this risk-free. The third one, this is the biggest problem that coaches make that I see when they try to go rent from school, organization, church, doesn't matter who you rent from. But this is the biggest problem I see. It's, do I have a consistent time slot every week? And if the answer is no, do not do business with that person. Don't give anyone money unless they have a consistent day, consistent time, and you're on like some sort of contract with them. This way, you have dedicated days for your clients because your clients will never stay committed to your program if on one week they, they're training with you at Tuesday at five and then the next week it's Sunday at three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> right? We need to have consistency and you're never going to be able to sell long-term commitments to anyone unless you have consistency with your schedule. And why would anyone buy anything long-term from you up front if they don't know when they're going to train? So having set days and set times, that is so key. Never make that mistake. And I've seen too many people make the mistake. That's why I'm bringing it up. And if I was going to go rent from anyone today, we're going to be on a contract. And I know that we're going to have set days and set times. The next one here, I kind of talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, but this is so important. I'm just going to pretend that you're training a group of four. You have a group of four and your clients are paying $200 per month. So that one group, you're generating $800 per month. If you're training them once per week, that's technically making $200 per hour. That's awesome. But let's say you're spending $50 per hour on rent. Okay, that means you're not making $200 per hour anymore. You're making $150 per hour. Most coaches would be really happy making $150 per hour. I mean, you run a couple of sessions like that per day. I mean, you can come away with four or $500. That's awesome. Now, let me show you something though, which is way more awesome. Let's say you have that group of four here. And at the same time, you have another coach that you're paying $30 per hour here. And he's training a group of four under your company. So you guys are in the same spot, same time. And the difference is you're able to train twice the amount of clients. So now you're going to be making 
$300. So not 150 you're making $300 per hour and you're spending the same amount in rent. So you're still spending $50 in rent, but now we're maximizing the time that you're spending inside of the gym by having another coach. So you're paying the $30 for the coach, you're spending $50 on the gym, spending 80 bucks, but we are still profiting. You're profiting at that point, $300 per hour. Run three sessions per day, making $900 per day. It is not rocket science to do that. I'm just laying that out for you. But a lot of coaches get stuck spending money on a gym and then they're not maximizing the gym the way that they could. Because of that, they end up not wanting to rent because they can't afford it. The way you can afford it, like I said earlier, run a clinic per month, have another coach with you that's running sessions to maximize that time slot. When you do that, Ultimately, you're just going to need like a couple of hours per month in the gym. And it's not that difficult to make six figures in this business renting from someone if you have your systems in place. If you're watching this video, you want to get more detailed, more organized with your business. You want to start maximizing the potential of your, your company. Go down here. You're going to see my number somewhere. Just text me. I'll get back to you probably in the next day. That's it. Catch you later.